Hi, welcome once again to another class of Domoji Math and Science. In today's class, we'll be taking another physics problem. We'll be seeing how to solve projectile motion problems. Let's use this question. I got this question from the West African Senior Secondary Certificate Examination 2018 Physics, and I want us to use it to further understand how to how to address projectile motion problems. Now let's get started. Now the question says that a missile is projected so as to attain a maximum range. Calculate the maximum height attained if the velocity of projectile is 20 meters per second. Let's first take our diagram. The missile is, at, is projected upwards. Definitely being a missile, it's going to be projected upwards so as to attain its maximum range. Now that means the missile must have attained here to this point. That should be the maximum range R. Now, one thing I want you to notice is for a missile to attain its maximum range, it must be projected at 45 degrees. That means it's projected at 45 degrees to the horizontal. And if it's projected at 45 degrees to the horizontal, that means you also have 45 degrees also to the what? To the vertical. Now, it's projected from with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second. That way, it will attain its maximum range. Now, we are asked to calculate the height of the maximum height attained. Now, to find the maximum height attained, at maximum height, the velocity would have reduced to 0 meters per second. And it would have gone under acceleration due to gravity, which is negative g, and it is negative 10 meters per second squared. That is our g. Now, for the velocity of this particular projectile motion, we understand that this velocity was projected at 45 degrees to attain its maximum height. Now we are dealing with height, that means we'll be interested in the vertical component of this velocity. That means if this is u, we'll be interested in what? In ui. Now from Pythagoras theorem, we understand that ui over u is equals to sine 45 degrees. So that u y, which is the horizontal, which is the vertical component, is equals to u sine forty five degrees. So that our u, we're told our u is twenty meters per second. So that our u y now will be given as twenty sine forty five degrees. Now, what is sine forty five degrees? Let's consult our calculator without making guesswork. Sine forty five degrees. That's that's twenty into 0 0.7071. Now, that means our ui will be equals to times plus point seven will be equals to 14.142 meters per second. Now, if u, which is our ui, is equals to 14.142, we'll use our formula which says v squared is equals to u squared plus u squared plus 2as to solve for the height, the maximum height attained. Now, we are interested in the height, so our v will be vy squared is equals to uy squared plus 2 into a. Our a now will be negative g, which is minus 2g into s. Our vy, which is the final velocity, because it's at maximum height, the final velocity will be 0 is equals to u. Our ui is 14.142. Now it will be all squared minus 2g. g is 10. That's minus 20 into, into s. Now so that 14 squared goes to the other side becomes minus 14 squared. That's minus 14 squared. Let's look at what's 14 squared. 14.14 squared. That's 199.9. That's 199.9. That's approximately 200. Is equals to 20s. This is approximately, approximately 200. That's 200. Minus cancels. Okay, this is minus 200. Cancels minus. So that I'm, I'm saying that 200 is equals to 20s. Divide both sides by 20. Divide this side also by, by 20. 20 here is 1. 20 here is, is 10. So that my maximum height s is equals to 10 meters 
10 meters is equal to 10 meters sorry we're dealing with height this time that's 10 meters let's see our second question for the second question a particle is projected horizontally at 15 meters per second from the height of 20 meters calculate the horizontal distance covered by the particle before eating the ground now let's see this with this question you know that as usual let's take our y and our x as is but this time around this particle is projected horizontally it's projected horizontally with a velocity of 15 meters per second from a height of 20 meters that means from here to the ground that's 20 meters calculate the horizontal distance covered if it's projected horizontally that means it moves through this projectile part and eats the ground we should calculate the horizontal distance covered before eating just before eating the ground that means we're interested in the range which is the r now for this particular motion the height is projected through this height as is projected for this particular question the particle was projected with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second let's understand the initial velocity first if you look at this you understand that it's projected horizontally that means the vertical component of this particular velocity ui will be equals to zero while my ux is totally a vertical comp is an horizontal component ux will be equals to 15 meters per second now let's see this let's see this first now since we have our u we can work with s is equals to ut plus half a t squared let's look at the s for the vertical movement first now if s for the vertical movement the s is 20 that's equals to my u for this particular motion is going to be zero because that's the vertical the ui is zero zero times t plus half now that's half g is a motion under gravity g is going to be 10 into t squared now that means 20 now will be equals to this is zero plus half that is 10 over 2 t squared 2 cross multiplies 20 becomes 40 over 10 is equals to t squared 10 here is 1 10 in 40 is 4 if t squared is equals to 4 obviously we take the square root of both sides t will be equals to 2 seconds now if my t is 2 seconds we've gotten our time t to be 2 seconds now we can easily solve for the total horizontal distance covered s still is equals to ut plus half a t squared but when we're considering horizontal distance our a now will be equals to zero because there is no when we're considering horizontal distance it is not under gravity so that s now will be equals to u my u is 15 into 2 t is 2 since a here is zero everything here becomes what zero that's plus zero so that s now will be equals to 15 times 2 which is equals to 30 30 meters thank you for staying with us if you have